Hello there, and welcome to my lighting tutorial. Today we will discuss the best way to light with softboxes. I can't stop talking like that. It's too much fun. All right. Anyway, so um, let me show you how to use one softbox and the best way to use two softboxes. And they're different than what a lot of people think. Most people think that a softbox should just be off to the side like this because it creates light on one side that lightly wraps around, causing soft shadows on the other side. Well, if you're 20 years old, that's fine. But we're not 20 years old. I'm 60, she's 50 something. And uh, you don't want to show the soft wrinkles. You don't want to show any wrinkles. You want to have the softest lighting possible. So for us, one light on the side is not the way to go. So for us, if you want to have nice soft lighting, uh, and you do whatever you want, but this is what works for us. Have the light more in the middle, like this. Now there's two ways to do it, and I will take pictures to show you the other way. So let's do one like this. The camera's gonna be just under it here, and it's kind of in the middle, maybe a tiny bit off to the side, but that's generally uh, the first placement. So let's, 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 uh, let's do this. Let's take a picture, shall we? Okay. Oh, it would help if I turned the flash on. That was good. All right, so that's one. Now, a slightly different version of that is called butterfly lighting, and this is what the professional uh, fashion pro photographers do for magazines, especially for magazines. It's a little more glossy looking, it's a little more pro, and that is where you have one light, and that's kind of what we're doing, but it's a little higher up, and it's basically coming down from above, like this. It's, so it's literally centered on her face, so. It's good to have a really strong light stand, or in my case, a long light stand that I can lean and hold on to while I'm taking the picture. So let's do that. Now you can see the shadows under here and here, so that would help to back up the light a little bit, but keep it straight up overhead. Like about, let's try that. That's better. All right, so that's pretty good for one light, but my favorite is two lights because that really helps knock out all shadows. But that's for us. Some people love shadows. They think it's dramatic, it's cool, it's YouTube. Well, <laughs> we are not that. This is what a lot of people think you should do with two saw boxes. Have them very close together, kind of in the front, so you barely, you barely enough room to poke through with the camera and see it so you get frontal lighting. The problem is when you do that, this is what you get. Now, I don't know if you can see this, but there is a shadow on this side of her nose and a shadow on this side of her nose. And that's okay for some people, but you still have shadows on the sides here. So you got shadow here on the cheek, the side of the nose, that side of the nose. And I don't like those. We're trying to get rid of shadows, not create shadows. So this is the secret of what I find works the best. What I'm gonna do, this is what I find works the best for us. Putting these lights more to the side at 45 degrees to the model. Not totally at the side, but like kind of 45 degrees. So now she's being hit more from the sides. So these lights should now cancel out these shadows because they're lighting up those, those uh, areas there. Look at that, no more shadows. I like that because it makes us look younger. A lot of people don't like that because they want to see shadows because they're younger and it's cool and all that. But for us, this is what we like. You still got a bit of shadow underneath the cheeks here. You know, you still got some modeling happening, but the stuff that you don't want, the crow's feet, the wrinkles here, the, uh, the side of the nose shadows, where you're looking like you're too gaunt in the cheeks, that's all gone. Wow, that's a lot more flattering. I like that one. Now I know the background's too dark. I did that on purpose to show you that the lighting that we're getting is actually from the light, the strobes, not the ambient light. But anyway, so there you go. Just a little tip. It actually helps. If you want really flattering, soft, glamour lighting, which they do from um, a lot of the fashion magazines, especially uh, it, where they have, you know, they show off uh, clothing and catalogs. A lot of the fashion stuff, a lot of the glamour things where they have total flat lighting. This is a good way to get it with two lights. Have the lights more off to the side. There's actually nothing right here, nothing at all. I mean, I could have a third light here, but then you start getting highlights on the face. But uh, this is a great two light setup. There and there. You're welcome. See you in the next video. Bye.